Hello, friends. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about brightening that under eye area and just generally um, improving some of your skin's tone issues or color issues through using concealers. So Beauty Counter had um, a really awesome concealer that temporarily went away and now is back. It's the Skin Twin Creamy Concealer. Um, so as some of you may have experienced, there was a little bit of an issue with this doe foot applicator where it would break off um, and they took it off the market. They replaced it. Um, the non-toxic glue was not sticking as well as it should have. So they replaced it with a better and new and improved um, applicator, but the same great formula in an expanded shade range. So I have a bunch of different shades sitting in front of me um, and wanted to talk a little bit about concealer today. So um, in the past, I have been using light one for the winter, um, but I wanted to show you a little bit about what the skin twin concealer looks like on and then the different shades that you might see and be toggling between. If you have any questions, if you want samples, if you're still really unsure, um, reach out to me and I'm happy to help you. So my skin is bare face today. I've got nothing on it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the light one concealer. Um, it depends, you know, when people ask me what to do as far as concealer color goes, I really say it depends on where you're going to use it and the look you're going for, right? So some people like a really bright under eye area look and other people are just looking to cover a blemish or want their skin to match. You might want a couple of concealer colors on hand. Um, the concealer color you use under your eyes is likely going to be different than the concealer color that you might use to fix a blemish. You don't want to fix a blemish with a concealer that's way too bright or you're going to draw attention to it as well. Um, so this is light one. I'm going to show you that for reference. Um, I'm going to put a little bit over here. And then on the other side, because I do have a little more color on my skin, um, I'm going to show you light too as well. These are subtle differences. So when I did swipe these on my skin, um, just swatches on my wrist, I mean, it's very subtle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and you could use a beauty blender. You could use a makeup brush. I'm using my finger and ideal makeup artist world. You would use your ring finger because it's the most gentle. So, um, do as I say, not as I do. Um, so there you go. You kind of notice, um, that it just evens out everything under your eye, brightens it a little bit. I really like light one. Um, I like the look that it gives. We'll see if you notice any difference with light two. It's going to be a little bit darker, a little bit more golden. So already I can tell, I feel like this one doesn't blend into my skin quite as well. I think I personally prefer light one, um, but there is light two for you as well. And so a lot of times I will just wear concealer. Um, already I feel like I can tell the difference because I feel like it looks much more natural on this side and ideally you do want it to blend in with your skin tone. Um, and it looks a little bit more like makeup on this side. Now, when I'm gonna reach for something that is gonna blend better with my um, actual skin tone, like I have a little breakout here, um, I'm grabbing, just playing with the medium one. And so I want that to blend in a little bit better. So if I have a blemish or something else, blends in really nicely right there. So like I said, you might want two different concealer colors. Um, other areas, I'll grab the light one that I might use a little bit of concealer frequently. I will put a little bit right under here where it gets a little bit dark, like I've already done. I will put it around the corners of my nose. Um, and then usually I'll put a little bit like right here and then blend it downward, kind of feather it out. So frequently I am just wearing concealer and bare face and I'm good to go for the summer. I mean, obviously you can use this along with, um, your foundation or your do skin or whatever you're using, but, um, frequently concealer blush, a little bit of mascara and brow pencil, and I am good to go.